Today is the first of many memorials for George Floyd. And since I can't be there to help celebrate his violent criminal life, I thought I would do my part with this little bit of activism that so many have done with their social media, changing their profile picture and posting a square. So let's just sit in silence and listen to some nice ASMR and reflect as I fill in these circles and squares. said to Brian, wherever human beings are, we have a chance. We have to recognize, though, that we're miracles and we're SOBs all at once, though. But wherever we are, <laughs> we have a chance. Eddie, you are a miracle. I'm grateful to have you CNN. as a colleague and friend here. Food insecurity on a scale yeah. not seen in decades. For being part of our coverage we're going to keep an eye on all of this on in my last vlogs in Minneapolis and around i was the thinking for sure remembering doing their best to honor the life of george floyd the but life of george change. floyd does anybody know that he actually has a long a criminal record of violent armed robberies guns drugs they'll never mention it our democracy is with change we'll bring you those stories next and um the drugs not a big deal because that's definitely systematic racism and you, and you can excuse it the shitty lives that the black race is forced to grow up in because of the systematic racism blah 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 but armed robberies nah it's just not gonna be any excuse given to that shitty life oppression systematic racism you just you just can't excuse that and he is who he was. Don't shed tears for him. Shed tears for the oppression. But like I was saying in my other blogs, vlogs the other day, this really will be the moment of change. Like finally, it does feel different. But because of the pandemic and everyone losing their jobs, lots of time to protest every single day. And I'm all for that. Bring down these police departments force the change upon them so the change that will happen is less police will be brutally murdering blacks inhumanely murdering blacks the discrimination hopefully will go down the racial profiling and eh, no nah, because humans are humans but you know like what won't change is like blacks growing up most of them in sh with shitty lives because when you're 10% of the population, when you are the minority race that much, there's going to be oppression. There's going to be a lack of opportunities that the other races that are near the majority or, the, or are the majority are going to get. So just as much to blame are all of the females, all of the black females that are popping out kids bringing their children into the world to have shitty lives before they get success for themselves and then can safely and confidently have kids and be able to grow up in suburbia and nice middle class and up communities and yeah easier said than done but i wasn't gonna have kids or a family until i got success I made a conscious effort and there's plenty of females that go to Planned Parenthood and get IUDs and birth control so that they aren't a teenage mom so it's everybody's fault 
whites are supposed to bow down now to BLM? Nah. All right, let's take a moment of silence as I finish these symbols of something. CNN. <sighs> Getting tired. A lot of activism here. All you white social media warriors. Thinking you're doing something. <laughs> but yeah, I guess George Floyd's up to three or four memorials planned now. Different states, his home place, his murder site, celebrity spots. Lots of memorials for George Floyd coming up. If we just make more and more of these on our social medias, we will change the world. One circle and one square at a time. Stay relaxed and soothed in this really, really sad day of George Floyd's first memorial. I mean, since blacks are just 12% of the population, blacks need to be like 30, 40, 50% of the population so that then there's tons of blacks on the police force and then that will automatically make the systematic racism go down so everyone should realize that this whole trend 2020 trend because of george floyd it's only going to go so far the change is only going to be with the police departments getting fucked up restructured attorney generals going into each state and Forcing retraining, forcing them to stop their aggressive, brutal, inhumane arrest tactics. Maybe they'll stop arresting blacks for smoking a cigarette, stealing a cigarette, selling a cigarette, or selling this or that on the street, or, or a counterfeit bill in the store. Whether or not they are a violent, dangerous criminal or not, they don't deserve that kind of treatment. So that will change. But the much more common sense and obvious problem is that blacks are 12% of the population. And that is just going to mean that you are going to be oppressed more so than Mexicans at 40% of the population, whites at 60, 70% of the population. You need to start immigrating millions of uh, people from Africa over here the way that Mexicans do from Mexico and uh, 
even out the scales. I mean, that's truly the heart of the problem. You're just a massive minority, and it creates you living in certain areas all hum huddled together. And that's part of the systematic racism that's not going to change. I don't know. That's just a theory of mine that I'm winging off the top of my head right here. All right, there we go. CNN. Hmm. Oh, talking about the virus now. My activism for the week, for the year. I can feel better about myself now, huh? My white privilege. I feel so much better about myself for putting this on my social media, on my YouTube channel, with all my followers, subscribers. <laughs> I forgot to use this straw to make some extra ASMR noises. So here we go. Is everybody reflecting how they're gonna get rid of systematic racism in this world? <clears throat> We're good. You all good yet? On George Floyd statue shrines memorials. How many weeks until you're you're over it? It's overplayed like a a song on the radio that's played a million times. I didn't even have one annoyed thought until day nine, when it's like, whoa, shrines and murals and paintings and memorials just multiplying <laughs> for this guy and that's when I started hearing that he was actually a, a violent dude which doesn't have anything to do with the the story for the movement but it's like let's tone down the these displays for him maybe throw up martin luther king displays but not displays for a guy that you weren't safe around <laughs> 